Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Are you interested in buying a wig but don't know where to start? Hmm, well we are, well you're in luck actually. And I know I stay in luck, child, with my wigs. <laughs> but our next guest is a celebrity hairstylist who has been transforming women for forever with his creative skills, one head at a time. And here to show us some options and give us a full rundown on everything you need to know about wigs. Please welcome the hair master himself, Anthony Elliott, also known as Anthony Cuts. You, dear? I'm well. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thanks for having no, me. No, no, no. Listen, I gotta tell you, uh, you're not just like a, a hairstylist. Like you just don't go in. I'm gonna give you a wash and a blowout and curl, child. You also do makeup too. Yeah, I like to embody the total package. I love when they come to me and they expect one thing, but when they sit in my chair, I'm looking at my work. When they sit in my chair, uh, they get to see that wow factor, and that chair turns around and they see their face like a total different woman, different yeah. girl, different feel, different vibe. So you I like are. to embody the whole thing. So you're like a one-stop shop. So I can basically come in, sit in your chair, come in one person and just walk out a completely different just girl. Just like that. I love that. So when did you learn that you were good at both? Um, well, I, I just knew five or six years ago I wanted to do the whole thing. I was always a hairstylist. Mm -hmm. But then I wanted to pick up um, makeup and whatnot. So once I picked that up, I really stayed on it and persevered and stayed on it very, very, very mm -hmm. strongly Yeah. until today, which makes me more, I think, uh, equipped to do it all. Yeah, honey. Well, let's get on into these wigs then. Okay, we're going to focus on the wig game today, right? Okay. So let's talk a little bit about different options of wigs. What type of options are out there? There are you parts, ready-made, glueless, uh, synthetic. No, we so don't want to. Wait a minute. <laughs> We stay away from the synthetics Everybody now. Everybody like a little flammable every now and then. I, I like don't know, they're flammable, child. You might want to stay away from those. So you talk a little bit about what's the what, a lace front and then the full frontal and then the custom lace. Like, what's the difference between the two? The or the, between the options? The difference also is quality. You know, mm. the better the lace, the more laid your unit will be. You want a flawless install, mm -hmm. so finer, thinner lace is best. You get thicker lace, Definitely not gonna get that whole one might say Beyonce look. Mm. You know? Okay, well listen, we got some examples in the bag. We wanna go ahead and get this thing started. You okay. ready? I'm ready, I'm so ready. All right, so let's go ahead and show our first model here. Uh, she's gonna show up on, ooh, oh, okay then. Mercy. Okay, now, now what does she have? Is this a full lace and why did you select this, this wig for her? This is a 13 by lace front to you. And I chose her because she has a nice skin tone, very bronze, and I feel like that color against her skin would definitely contrast. Well, I use the Fix It Plus or Ash Gel to, uh, maintain this look and keep it laid and freshly tightened down. Let's see her before. I would love to see her before because honey, she is snatched. She's fried dyed and laid to the side. Where's her before? I all right, well, we'll just go to the next one, honey. It's live TV. Things happen. All right, so let's go ahead and bring out the second model. And tell me, why did you select this particular? Oh, well, come on, Carla. Oh, I, I was not expecting that. I really wasn't. But well, it looks amazing, actually, on her. Of course, this beautiful ebony tone. I knew it would contrast with this nice, bright neon green. I know, again, I used the ORS Fix It Grip Gel and the Ultra Hole also to maintain and lock this wig down. You can get the same look at home using those same products. Wow. So, so now, what products do you actually use in terms of making it feel secure? And how long can she actually wear this 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 unit? With the ORS grip gel, you can use it for about maybe three to four days, maybe even a week tops. How do you take care of it properly? No yeah. water, no oils, no lotions, no foundations, and allow it to slip a lot less. Okay. So she couldn't get in the pool and have a hot girl summer. No. <laughs> with, with she could have a hot girl summer if she up here. Be okay, she got. Okay, good. she got to go. You got to stay yeah, neckline with the water, girl. Yeah, train, Just doggy, yeah. doggy yeah, pal, girl. Yeah, That's yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. And so, how do you choose what you're going to do when a woman sits down in your chair? What are you looking at in terms of what's going to be the best hairstyle for her and which units? Well, I like to know that personality. I like to know what they're into, their lifestyle, and basically what are they afraid of, what they don't like. Mm -hmm. Once I get that, I know I can definitely go off that 
and create a color that's enhanced for them, just for them. Now, what if you get one of those girls, like, honestly, myself, years and years ago, I would only wear black hair because I was like, you know what, I don't want to do too much color. It's going to make me look like this. It's going to make me look like that. And I was really afraid of color many years ago now, because y'all know I wear whatever color now. But how do you choose the proper color, and what do you do for that person who's very apprehensive and not as adventurous, but you know that they'll look good in color? What do you do? Well, they always say there are rules for people who, uh, you know, if you have darker skin, you shouldn't wear blonde. Mm -hmm. I'm more of, like I said, a personality person. If you think you can pull it off, if you think you can wear it, then I will definitely encourage you to. I love seeing a brown woman in blonde hair. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Did you see me when I had I my I saw you when you had that pixie cut. Oh, I was feeling it was myself. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's it. Hot. That's, that's hot. it. Hot. Okay, that's I'm like, don't I got Anthony told me I can do it. Okay? Yeah, it was so nice. Yeah, thank you a so nice much. Country, no well, listen, thank you so much, Anthony, for being with us. We truly do appreciate it. And follow him if you're not already one of his 1.8 million followers. Okay, how about that? Uh, and he's also going to tell us uh, a little bit later. You're going to stick around for do, do a little something on social for us? Maybe I would. Maybe I would. I just want to, I want the girls to know how to take care of their wigs. Really of course, of course.